Hello everyone, I'm super excited to welcome you all to the Def Hacks Virtual 2020 Hackathon. We've got a super amazing event planned out for you guys and I'm thrilled to see it all happen in the next 36 hours. I'm Shashank and I'm the chief organizer of this hackathon and I also have Nathan Yap who's the head of marketing of this hackathon with me on the call today. During this ceremony, we're going to be going over a bunch of information that you'll need to succeed in this hackathon. And if you have any questions at all, we will be doing a live Q&A on Zoom directly after this live stream. We're going to get um, started by just uh, talking a little bit more about the DefAx organization. DefAx is an international 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to providing immersive learning experiences for students in computer science through free hackathons around the world. In the past years, we've hosted hackathons in Seattle, New York, Chile, Boston, and Toronto. And this year, due to the pandemic, we've made our fourth annual Seattle Hackathon virtual and opened it up to students worldwide. For today's event, we've got more than 1,000 hackers signed up from over 45 different countries. We've also got more than 40 professional mentors to help you out with your different projects and some great speakers, mini events, and workshops planned out for you. It's our first virtual hackathon, so I'm super excited to see how it will go. Yeah, I'm also super excited for this hackathon. But before we can go over the logistics of the hackathon, we want to thank each and every one of our amazing sponsors, without which this event will not have been possible. I would like to thank Dubhacks, Replit, 1517, Echo AR, Wolfram Language, Bugsy, Linode, Balsamic, Openwater Accelerator, Magoosh, Challenge Rocket, Art of Problem Solving, MLH, and our technology partner, Script Foundation. We're now going to move on to the different submission tracks for today's event. We've got three main tracks, the Health Tech Prompt, which will be revealed to you guys at the end of the ceremony, uh, the Best Beginner Hack, and the Best Advanced Hack. For these three tracks, we will be awarding a bunch of amazing prizes, which you can view on our dev post. You can only submit to one of these three main tracks. However, there are other prizes that you can submit your project to. The full list of all of our prizes is available on our dev post, which is devhacksvirtual2020.devpost.com. So please check that out. Now I would like to introduce Jacqueline from MLH who will be providing you all with some information. Hey everyone, I'm Jack from Major League Hacking. You can follow me on Twitter at Jack Biggin. I'm here all weekend to support you with your hacks and to help you have an amazing time here at Def Hacks Virtual. So if you have any questions at any point, just give me a message and I'm here to help. Although I do need to sleep. As a bit of background on myself, I've attended over 30 hackathons across Europe, Canada and the UK. And also I ran Hack Quarantine, MLH's largest ever digital member event. I'm about to tell you a ton of really, really important stuff, but I know that you're going to forget most of it. Don't worry. When you do, just head over to hack.mlh.io for everything that you need to know. So what is Major League Hacking? Well, we are the global hacker community and it is our mission to empower hackers just like you. In fact, in the last year, we empowered over 135,000 hackers from across the world. By attending DefHax Virtual, you're earning community points for your school, college, or university. And you can earn more by attending more MLH member events, MLH Local Hack Day, and MLH Local Host Workshops. And of course, the best way to earn more points is to bring your friends. Whichever school has the most at the end of our season is crowned the winner. So, what is Major League Hacking doing here this weekend? Well, first up, we're running a Werewolf mini event on Saturday, that's today, at 2pm PST. It's a great chance to meet some hackers and also just de-stress for a bit. And then on Sunday at 7.30am PST for all of you early risers, we'll be taking a break and running the US Air Force Cyber Security Challenges. These are capture the flag style challenges we'll be doing as a group. Everyone can participate and everyone can learn something new. And also, we'll be holding a prize raffle for everyone who completes the challenge, where some of our lucky winners, who are located in the US, will win a special prize. This weekend, we're also running the Draw an Octocat Win an Octocat Challenge. So if you need a bit of a break, try and draw the wonderful creature on your screen. You can use literally anything. Ketchup, toothpaste, shaving foam, I don't know, it doesn't have to be pen and paper and tweet your entry to Education using hashtag MyOctoCat and hashtag DefHacks. 
The GitHub team will choose their favorite and they will send you one of these really cool statues after a weekend is up. Also, don't forget to claim your totally free GitHub Student Developer Pack if you are a student. It contains loads of resources from APIs to hosting credits to free domains and more. And the best bit is, it is totally free. So head over to hackp.ac slash github to claim your free developer tools. You thought that was all we were going to bring with us? No, of course not. MLH has brought along a ton of extra freebies for you too. First up, don't forget to go and claim your free .space, .online, or .tech domain name from domain.com. You get it free for a year and it comes with domain privacy. Just use promo code Thunderstorm and head over to hackp.ac slash domain. You should also totally check your email for up to $100 in free Google Cloud credit. Every time you go to another hackathon, you'll also get more credits. And if you somehow use all of them this weekend, don't worry, come talk to me. I have refill codes. We're also this weekend running a best use of Google Cloud prize. So if you need someone to host your hack, Google Cloud would be a great place. This weekend, you could also leverage UiPath in your hack to automate tasks like emails, social media activities, web scraping, or even to schedule your classes. UiPath connects effortlessly to a ton of applications. And by using it, you have a chance to win a sweet UiPath MLH branded backpack and infinite glory. And if you want to skip the nitty gritty and you don't want to write a ton of boilerplate code, don't worry, try out our hackathon starter kits. You can get them over at hackp.ac slash learn. As a recap, here are all the prizes MLH is bringing to Dev Hacks Virtual this weekend, but don't worry about remembering them. They're all on the events dev post page too. Make sure you demo this weekend as well, since every single person who you does will get an I demo sticker. Don't worry about thinking your project is unfinished or you don't think it's good enough. That doesn't matter. Demoing is a really, really important skill, and I really encourage you to show everyone what you've made. And finally, companies just like these are looking to hire hackers just like you. So make sure you check out the MLH Career Lab at hackp.ac slash careers. On a more serious note. MLH hackathons are safe spaces for everyone. By being at this event, you're agreeing to MLH Code of Conduct, whether you're a hacker, a volunteer, a sponsor, or anybody else at all. If you haven't already, you should probably go and read it. The TLDR is be respectful. Harassment and abuse will not be tolerated. If you're having an issue and someone is making you not have an amazing time this weekend, come and find me. If I'm offline or you don't want to talk to me, don't worry. Just send an email to instance.mlh.io or call this number. We want you to have an incredible time this weekend. So if anything is stopping you doing that, please let us know. Right, that's it. Thank you again so much to all of our partners. And as a reminder, I'm here all weekend except when I'm asleep. So I really, really can't wait to see what you all get up to and to see all of your amazing hacks. Now, without further ado, it's time for me to say goodbye. So it's bye from me, bye from MLH, and happy hacking! Now we've also got a lot of cool stuff that's going to be coming from our sponsors and it's available to all hackers. The list is posted in the Slack channel hashtag free stuff, along with information as to how to get access, so be sure to check that out after the ceremony. Let's now move on to some rules. First, I'd just like to remind all of you that you must register on the dev post now to participate in the hackathon. Uh, just please remember and do it immediately after this ceremony because if you don't do it, you won't be able to submit your projects. It's a really quick process. You just go to our dev post link, which is devhacksvirtual2020.devpost.com and there should be a big green button that says register for this hackathon. So now for teams, uh, you can compete individually or as a group. Teams can be up to five members. Um, anyone can submit to the advanced track. However, if you'd like to submit to the beginner track, you must be in one of these categories. If you have less than two years of computer science experience, this is your first hackathon, or you're in high school. If you're in a team, all of your team members must be considered beginners for you to submit to the beginner track. Your code must be on GitHub or some other open source tool. If you aren't going to use GitHub, I'd strongly suggest you DM me or any of the other organizers and make sure whatever you are using is fine. 
because if we cannot see your code when judging, we will have to disqualify you. If you do not know how to use GitHub, please come to the live Q&A after this stream where we will be going over that. Also feel free to ask any questions on Slack. In addition to your code, you will submit a video that is 1 to 2 minutes long and upload it to YouTube as either unlisted or public. It must be a narrated video that shows the key features of your project. Now this is important. You must submit an initial copy to DevPost by 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on June 21st. After that, you can continue working on your hack until 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is when all hacking will be done. Lastly, you're allowed to use libraries and boilerplate code from MLH, but other than that, all the code must be made during this hackathon and only by the members of your team. In addition, the project you make must be submitted to only this hackathon and no other hackathon. If you're confused about any of these rules, uh, please DM me or any of the other organizers for clarification, because if you're found not following the rules, you will be disqualified. So we have several super interesting workshops lined up for you guys throughout this hackathon. So be sure to check them out if you have time um, and look on our website or on Slack if you want the full schedule. Um, so first of all, we have a workshop by Echo AR on how to build a cloud connected AR or VR app in 15 minutes or less. We have an introduction to mobile development with Flutter with Ben Swerdlow. We have an introduction to machine learning with Python with Zayn Hasnain. We have an introduction to React.js we have, a inter uh, we have a workshop on coding to make music with Professor Ge Wang. And we have several AMAs with Amjad Massad, who is the CEO of Replit, Tom Preston Werner, who is the co-founder of GitHub, and Professor Ge Wang, who is a Stanford professor of CS and music. So now I'm gonna give a quick overview of our channels on Slack. The announcements channel on Slack is for general announcements and information. You can ask mentors for help or advice on the Ask Mentors channel. The events channel will give you notification, information, and links to our Ask Me Anythings workshops and mini events. As mentioned before, the free stuff channel is where you can learn more uh, about the free stuff provided by our sponsors. And the general channel is for general talk among hackers. Lastly, please be sure to introduce yourself on the introduction channel, as well as find others to team up with if you don't have a team. Thank you, Nathan. And to conclude the opening ceremony, we've got an inspiring message from Dr. Coy Cooper, a best-selling author and motivational speaker. Def Hack Virtual 2020 members, welcome. What is going on? My name is Coy Cooper and I'm an author, coach, and speaker. And what I do is I help people create habits and systems so they can thrive in their lives. And one of my favorite things to do is to work with students. And one of the reasons why is proactive students are just passionate to go out and do something really cool with their career and lives to make the world a better place. And I got a funny feeling that you fit that mix. And so what I wanted to do, you're about to go into a really cool experience. And I just wanted to give you really three quick tips that you can not only use in this experience, but you can use on the back end of this so you can continue to excel in your career and life and you can create the type of results that you absolutely love. So the number one tip that I would say is this, if you really wanna thrive in this experience and beyond, continue to invest in you. This is especially for, for beyond this challenge. If you take the time to consistently invest in you, it's one of the best things you can possibly do. And you might be saying, Coit, I do that. I go to school and I do all those things. Listen, I'm all for those things. But what I'm talking for is, is you getting up every single morning and revisiting your goals and thinking about the person you wanna be. And it's you putting yourself into situations just like this so you can continue to grow. So that's tip number one is continue to invest in you. Tip number two is closely aligned with it. And what it is is this really, really work hard to cultivate and establish a growth mindset. You know, I said, Coit, what do you mean about that? What I mean is this, be willing to put yourself into challenging situations and learn to love growth. Don't protect anything. Come into a challenge like this and just look at it and say, man, I'm gonna do the best I possibly can and I'm gonna grow from the experience and I'm gonna keep putting myself into challenging environments to where I can get better and better and better. I'm reading a book by, rereading a book right now by Carol Dweck called 
um, mindset, growth. It's about growth mindset, right? And one of the things she talks about is just the willingness to just love growth and continue to put yourself into those spots that really challenge you and don't worry about if you're not good enough or just just focus on getting better and getting better and getting better. If you do that, eventually you're going to be extraordinary. Okay, so we've talked about number one, continue to invest in you. Number two, as you're doing that, cultivate a growth mindset. And then number three is this, as you're doing it, have fun. Learn to have fun. Learn to look at these situations and because you have a growth mindset, Just learn to see it as a blast that you get to do something like this and get better and and learn to just have a blast going through your life because that's one of the most critical things. And and people often say, Koi, can you really have fun in this? Yeah, if your mind's right. And one of the ways that you have fun is you learn to love challenge. You learn to love experiences that other people avoid because they're difficult. And I'm telling you right now, if you can do these three things and then cap it off this last one with learning to love challenges and having a blast during the process, man, you're, you're gonna just not only have an amazing experience, but you're gonna have an amazing life. And so what I encourage you to do, take advantage of this opportunity. Focus on these three different tips as you move through it and have a blast, grow, get better, and go out and really create something extraordinary in your career and life. I hope this is useful for you. Have an amazing day. Take care. Thank you so much for your very motivating message, Dr. Cooper. And I really do hope that everyone is able to make the best out of this event. Um, Now you can all officially start working on your hacks. This is the health tech prompt. Create a hack that can help fight the COVID-19 virus or makes life easier for people in quarantine. If you have any questions about anything, we will be doing a live Zoom call for you to answer any questions. And I will post a link to that on the Slack right now. Good luck, everyone. We're super excited to see what you guys will create. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us for our opening ceremony. Okay, uh, I'll mute too. everyone so you guys can ask any of your questions uh in the youtube chat right now um yeah and you guys can start working on your hacks too so absolutely and do you want to introduce yourself as well so everyone knows who you are and um, because we've got two organizers here and we've got one person from mlh mm-hmm. so i'm shashank i'm the chief organizer of this hackathon and I'm Ron and I'm one of the uh, co-organizers with Shashank. Yeah, uh, we've got a awesome team this weekend. I'm Jack from Majorly Cacking. Um, we know loads of you have questions. We saw throughout the whole of YouTube um, and Slack that you've got loads of questions about loads of different things. So if you have any questions whatsoever, whether it's about the color of Shashank's hoodie or actually useful questions such as how do I hack? What should I build? How do I find a team? Let us know. Um, we're gonna be here for a bit and the organizer team are gonna be here to help you out as much as they possibly can. So one of the questions that we're being asked is, can I still register? Shashank, do you want to take that question? Yeah, so if you'd like to register, we've like formally closed all registrations. However, um, if you still like to register, we can still do that. Just send uh, Nathan a DM on the Slack with your first name, last name, and then your email. Cool. Now, uh, somebody else is asking, about the prompts they're saying for the beginner hack are we judged based on the quality or the impact of it um yeah so you guys will be judged on both of them we haven't finalized like uh all the specific uh i guess um things that we're judging based on but yeah uh definitely based on the impact and uh the quality will come in as well um i can see one which i can take uh we have a question saying india slug um any of Majorly Hacking swag, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, for example, I demo stickers and all that kind of stuff. If you're in India, you will get sent that as long as you register properly. Um, I'll let you know how to do that a little bit later in the hackathon. 
Um, so there is definitely swag. I think Script Foundation have some goodies as well. And obviously prizes, I would presume, are global. Mm -hmm. And also, somebody was asking, can we directly message, can they directly message all three of us about the rules? Or is there a better place to do that? And I believe that if you ask that on the Ask Mentors channel, you're probably going to get answers much quicker and probably some even more specific answers. Yeah, and it also helps because uh, then other people who have the same questions as you can get their answers there as well. Yeah, there's like a ton of questions as well. Um, asking, um, like, what are the restrictions on beginner hat? What counts as a beginner? Mm. Um, yes. Ron, do you know? Or? Um, Shashank, go ahead. Sorry, I thought Shashank was about to take the question. Oh, yes, yeah, so like I said in the live stream, so for the beginner hack, all of your members must be considered beginners. And what that means is that you are either a high school student, uh, you have less than two years of coding experience, or this is your first hackathon. So yeah, um, I think someone just asked, do you have to fit all restrictions? Uh, no, so you just have to fit one of those three but every single member of your team needs to be considered a beginner. So every single member of your team has to fit at least one of those or one of those um, restrictions. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Ron, one which you can probably take is, are hackers allowed to get help from Stack Overflow or other websites? I mean, of course they are. That's part of, that's part of coding. And as, as long as you don't just completely just get, grab a project from Stack Overflow or GitHub and then call it your own, and you're actually the one doing the coding, of course you can get help. Absolutely. Um, and another question we have for you, Ron, is are you currently in a mall? Um, yes, I am. I am not home right now because there's something being done at my house. So I am sitting at a mall. <laughs> that is amazing. But that's um, quite a random question. It really is. Um, someone's asking, where can I find a code for Google Cloud credits? So um, if you check your email, you'll have a code for up to $100 of Google Cloud credits. If you're in an eligible region and are a university student, um, if you are both of them, and you haven't got a code, um, send me a DM and I will get to you as soon as possible. Bear in mind, I have about 25 DMs to currently go through, so it might take a little while, um, but we will get you a code sorted out. So bear with us. Thank you very much for being patient. Mm -hmm. Eric is also asking if this is, so this is his first hackathon. What if you can't find teammates to work with? Something that you want to do is you want to go on the introductions channel and you want to introduce yourself, say maybe you're previous coding knowledge, or if you don't have any, just say, hey, I'm looking to have fun. This is what I want to do. And people will reach out to you, or you can actually reach out to other people about forming teams with them. Also, if you don't, don't find a team, you can always just do it yourself, which I have done before, and it's actually super fun either way. Absolutely. Yeah. And just um, to add on to what Ron said, um, yeah. I've seen lots of people in introductions and the team building channel just sending out their, just like their skills and they're looking out for teams. Yeah. So, I would suggest in just to emphasize to just also reach out to them before you like send out your uh, introduction. You have so many like hackers who, even if you're a new hacker, would love to work with you. So even if you are like a bit worried to go and approach these people, like as Shashank said, don't just send them a message. Like they're in the same position as you and they probably really want to team up with you, especially if, you know, say they're good at design, you're good at development, when that's two great things to put together to make an amazing project. Um, we have a question, um, probably for Shank from Bob, which says, are groups of six allowed? Are groups of six allowed? No, we are capping the limit at five. So you can have groups of up to five, but we are not allowing six. Awesome. And Ron, would creating a Chrome extension count as a hack? Yes, it would. Any, any project that involves coding would, would be counted as a hack, or even if you're doing a hardware project, which, and you send in a video, if you have the teammates, for example, in your family, just make sure to be safe with COVID and everything. But that would also count as a hack. Absolutely. I think one thing that's worth saying is like just because like many people make apps, many people make websites, many people make all of that kind of stuff. That doesn't mean you have to. My first ever hack uh, quite a while back now was a Chrome extension. Um, and like I know people who built hardware hacks. I know people who built software hacks. So don't feel restricted in what you can make. If you can dream it and you can make it, then have a go. And that totally counts. Believe it or not, my first hack was also a Chrome extension. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see if there's anything currently hiding in Slack, because there's um, a few in here. Uh, someone asks, uh, they missed the health tech prompt. Uh, Shashank, what is the health tech prompt topic as a recap? Yeah, so just it's create a hack that will help uh, people um, suffering from COVID-19 and also help students uh, just 
deal with quarantine better. Mm -hmm. and yeah, to maybe make that a little sorry to maybe make that a little bit more broad. It doesn't have to be people like specifically uh, helping with the virus itself. It can also be like helping with everyday life. As an example, something that I struggle with, and I I would find it really fun if somebody made this for me, is I struggle with getting up in the mornings, especially <laughs> now that I can get up anytime because school is over. Somebody should make a really really annoying alarm clock, for example. That would be super fun, and I would really enjoy seeing that. That would be amazing. Yeah, don't feel restricted. I think as well, one thing that the organizers might make to uh, clear up for some of you, because some people seem a bit confused. Um, for the beginner and advanced tracks, do projects have to also fall into the health track category or not? No, they do not. They can be about and absolutely anything. So yeah. Yeah. So feel like you can make anything, everyone. Don't feel like you know your project has to fit into this health track. However, I, as Ron mentioned, a lot of the things you might be interested in making might fall in, even if you don't think they do. So maybe have a think about if you can make it work. Um, where should people RSVP to the AR slash VR events? That's a great question. So we will be sending out a form that will just ask for your name and then your email where you can sign up for the uh, Zoom link to the Echo AR uh, workshop. We're gonna send that out in a couple of minutes. Actually, I think Julian will be sending it out at 12.30. And we're gonna let the first 90 people join the Zoom call. So it'll be more interactive and you can uh, you know, ask questions. But since we have like a cap on 100 people, after that, uh, you will, we still will be streaming it on Zoom or on YouTube. So you guys can still watch. Awesome. Uh, Vokta has asked, am I limited to only MLH boilerplates? No, you can use anything as a start. It looks like one of the mentors got confused what you're asking. You can use like any code you want as um, like for whatever you like. The MLH boilerplate is just there to kind of get you started if you feel a bit stuck. For example, if you need something to build a flask app with and you're not quite sure where to get started, but you don't have to use them, don't worry. Also, somebody's asking me if I'm practicing social distancing. I am, of course, practicing social distancing. I have a mask in my pocket and I'm being safe, I promise. Yeah, I think that is like worth like raising attention to you, everyone. And um, if you are going to go physically working your, with your team, please be safe um, mm -hmm. because like, you know, there is still a pandemic happening. So, you know, stay two meters away from each other um, and, you know, take reasonable precautions if you're going to. Somebody was asking if the hack has to be fully completed. And the answer to that is no, of course not. This is this is a hackathon. You have 36 hours. You're probably not going to complete a full app in 36 hours. Just try and get the MVP, the first prototype done. And in your presentation, a good thing to do is explaining what you can further do to work on the project. That's something that would help the judges see, hey, they knew what they were going to be doing. They just ran out of time. Yeah, and one question you can always ask yourself if you're sitting there and you're like, I don't know what to build, I'm really confused, is think, what silly thing annoys me on a daily basis? Because that will probably spark off a ton of ideas and silly little questions like that. If it's something that you would use, you'll probably build it better. And also just to add on to that, we've got a bunch of amazing mentors who, who are here to help you. So if you guys have yes. like, ideas or inspiration, just send a message in Ask Mentors and people will help you out. Um, yeah, people 100%. are asking where they can find also prize categories on a similar um, kind of note obviously people are building these amazing projects but they want to know what prize categories they can enter where do they find these so yeah you guys can just go to the dev post we've got just short descriptions there for each one of the different tracks and the different prizes that you're eligible for uh yep. the dev post is dev hacks virtual 2020.devpost.com and they're all separated by dashes yep. somebody was ask asking if they can modify an old project and make it better and I'm not 100% sure. So does somebody else want to take that question? Um, I would say you probably want to avoid doing that. Um, just to give you some context, um, like when you're building a hackathon project, it's generally going to be a more successful project if you start from scratch um, and build something up because it shows what you can make in 36 or 24 or 48 hours, depending on how long the hackathon is. Um, additionally, um, you know, it depends on the hackathon and stuff, but the rules, the competition rules, do state that any code written and um, bar like boilerplate codes and bar like, you know, um, like libraries and stuff does have to be written during the weekend. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me into DM uh, and I can send over you all the relevant information. But that is kind of a TLDR of that. Basically, any project you're making this weekend should be made this weekend is kind of the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 
I don't see any other questions. Uh, I'm just gonna have a quick look in a few channels for you just to make sure. As well, I think, you know, one question that is really important that hasn't been asked is, Shashank, if people are stuck after this and need help with things, where can they get that help? Uh, sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear you. If people are stuck, they have questions, they don't know what to do, they need help, where should they go for that help? Yeah, that's a great question. So for, uh, if it's a, just a general question, then just send it in hashtag general. And most likely another hackathon participant will respond to you pretty quickly. And if not, then one of us will definitely just respond to that as a thread. And if it's anything related to like programming, you need help, then just send a message and ask mentors. We've got almost 40 different professional mentors that are happy to help you with your code. Yeah, it's awesome. As well, um, don't feel if you're a new hacker, I know one of the scary things that people are like are like, oh, the question I have, no one else is gonna have the question. People are gonna look down on me for asking this question. I can guarantee at least five of the people have the same question, but everyone else thinks the same thing. So don't exactly. worry, it, it, there is no harm in asking the questions. I genuinely, in my first hackathon, asked the person who was serving lunch where lunch is being served. So like, don't feel like there's silly questions. Everybody asks them, it's fine. Yeah, no question is a stupid question. Just remember that and have fun. Yeah, absolutely. Cool, I think uh, the questions have been dying up in Twitch chats or drying up even. And it's looking like there's a couple left in YouTube though. Um, so Claire is asking, I wasn't able to register, but emailed you guys. Should I send a DM instead? Ron, what is your take on this? Um, send us send us a DM so that we can get to it a little bit faster because our emails are and DMs are all clogged. But we're currently very active on Slack, especially because during the Ask Mentors and stuff like that, it's we're pretty active there. So go ahead and send us a DM, and we'll try and get to it as soon as we can. And just yeah. mention that you sent out an email to us, and we'll take a look at it as well. So yeah, yeah, absolutely, and just. In case everyone, anyone's missed it, um, Shashank, Linda asks, my friend has an, or my team has an idea for an app that we want to build, but we don't have experience building apps. So where should they start? Where can they get help? Yeah, that's a great question. So just for that, we've got an introductory workshop uh, in mobile development using Flutter. You don't need any coding knowledge to attend that. So I highly uh, like suggest you guys attend that. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember exactly what the time for that is, but you can definitely check on the website and in our Slack. It should be there in the hashtag events uh, channel. Yeah, and on a similar note, where can people find a schedule for all the events happening this weekend? Um, so all the, the times for the events are in the hashtag events channel, and there's more information about the events as well. We'll send out like um, RSVP links in the events channel as well. Um, and then if you just like a general like time, then you can check on our website. It's on devhacks.co slash hackathon slash virtual. We've got a schedule with all the times. Yeah, and all of these links are hidden in Slack. And if any of them aren't currently in Slack, we'll kind of take a look after this and make sure they're all there ready for you to find. Uh, so don't worry. Great. Um, I somebody was asking if Ma somebody was asking if making a game counts as a hack, and the answer to that is yes, of course. Also, somebody else was asking if these workshops are going to be recorded and posted on the YouTube channel, and the answer to that is also yes, they will be posted on the YouTube channel as soon as we finish like recording them and uploading them. Yeah, I would say as well, just before anyone kind of is like, why is it not here? The workshop finished ten minutes ago. Um, please be patient. Um, obviously, it takes time to download them, edit them down, re-upload them. Um, so like be patient with the organizers. If you want to like see the workshop at a scheduled time, make sure you hop on either the live stream or the actual workshop on Zoom. Um, if you miss it, please like, you know, give them a bit of time to get it done because it's not going to be an instant process. Even, yeah, even if you're not on the Zoom call for the workshop, you can still check it out in the live stream and it'll be almost the same thing. The only difference is this, if you RSVP first, you're, it's going to be a tiny bit more interactive, but the people who are doing the workshop will try and answer the YouTube questions and, and all the other live stream questions. Just want to put that out there. I think we got a message from someone who said that the form for the first workshop does not work. Um, I just checked and it seemed to be working for me. Could you just send uh, Julian Lee a message DM on Slack and he can add it on for you manually? Cool. It's so, looking like the form is working now for anyone who's mm -hmm. having issues with it. 
Oh, okay. So maybe, yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, so if nobody else has any questions, I think we're good here, or does, yeah. does, it, does anybody okay. have anything they want to talk about in specific? I think we are good. Uh, is anyone who's watching needs need the GitHub, just a quick introduction to what GitHub is and um, how to upload your code on there? I think as well for anyone who is confused at like kind of what is GitHub, like how does code submission work? Um, you're not going to be alone in that. So like feel free again to ask questions and ask mentors kind of, you know, if it's your first time using GitHub, don't worry, like it's everyone's first time at some point and everyone is here to help you. Um, one thing I would say as well, if you are going to go and use GitHub is to make sure you claim the GitHub student developer pack. You can do it at hackfeed.ac slash GitHub. Uh, it'll give you a ton of really useful benefits for your hack, but it will also give you GitHub um, premium or pro, not quite sure which one it's called. Um, and that just means you get the paid version of GitHub for totally free. Uh, and so you don't need it necessarily for a hack of a project, but it's a nice bonus to have. Okay, great. Um, so it looks like there is someone who would like the GitHub uh, demo. Uh, Ron, would you mind actually doing that? If you can't, I can do it. But I think I have to start working on setting up the Echo AR workshop. Um, sure. Yeah, I haven't. I wasn't. I'm not super prepared for it. But I guess I can. I think try you can just to. just show like go on GitHub and then you can like create a new repository and show you just putting code in there. I guess I can show you if uh, you want. I can hover around if you like. If that's easier. Okay. Thank you, Jacqueline. Yeah, because I think I have to go because actually my laptop is about to die. Believe it or not. <laughs> No problem. I just need to fix my webcam. My laptop but just lost connection. Thank you for everyone for your patience. And then we'll hop on. I'll give you a quick overview of GitHub. Um, okay. So let's see if this is working now. Okay, so I'm going to leave the meeting and start working on setting up the Echo AR workshop. So bye, everyone. Uh, thank yeah. you all for watching. Yeah, thank you guys all for watching. And make sure if you have any extra questions, just make ask them on the Ask Mentors channel, and we will get to them as soon as we possibly can, or some other mentor will get to them as well. Yeah, friends, uh, I'm having some connection problems. So what we're going to do is I will go and get this fixed on my end and then keep an eye out in Slack. Uh, and I'll drop a link for anyone who's getting confused with GitHub and we'll create some GitHub office hours for you to go and get some mentorship. How does that sound? It seems that... We might be having some yeah connection issues right now. I'm also having a little bit of connection issues. Uh, so I think you can hear me. Is that right? Yes, we can hear you now. Cool. So it's looking like we're having some connection issues, friends. So I think the best thing to do is anyone who is having issues with GitHub. Uh, what we will do is I will put in a link so we can get some dev post office hours, uh, some GitHub office hours. Um, and then anyone who's having issues um, or needs like a bit of help getting set up on it or anything like that, you can come and have a chat to me and like, we'll do it one to one because that's probably going to be a lot more beneficial for everyone. Um, just because, you know, everyone's having some tech issues right now. So um, keep an eye on Slack. I will send a link as soon as it is there. And happy hacking, everyone. Happy hacking. Thank you, everyone, for joining.